Hello and welcome to videos on fly fishing. The fly I'm going to tie for you today is a dragonfly larva. You have the adult insect here. Well, it's quite early. It's mid of May and uh, the fish is going to take uh, insects beneath the surface. So this is the right fly to tie on your leader now. Uh, this is a mouthful for uh, trout and they take it willingly so uh, why not uh, learn to how to tie this fly and watch my video well let's tie flies well hello and welcome to videos and fly fishing today I'm gonna tie a little dragonfly larva like this one uh, I tied it on a hook size 8 from partridge like this and I use some olive thread from Semperfly this one I think it's 8 out maybe a little thinner and I'm gonna use some uh, plastic eyes from Stonefall and further on I'm going to use some um, Congo hair from Fly Ties Dungeon for the body and I'm going to use some uh, wire from Semperflies Semperfly <laughs> to um, tighten the body and I'm going to use some lead wire to weight it down and uh, I'm gonna use some um, well yeah shell back last like this this from Bapsi thin skin transparent but there's a little pattern in it so well let's get on with it down just place a new hook in the vise and by the way this is the transformer but before I'm gonna place a hook in a vise I'm gonna show you how to make this body well I take one piece of wire and one little bundle of Congo hair I take this wire and wrap it around the Congo hair like this well when something's on video it's always a little fuss well take it right like this so you see you see the idea here I place it in my eyes tighten up and rotate like this until it breaks like that okay now you see when I double it I have the body I really have the body well further on I'll place this take this aside and I take out my hook Put in my vise, but to just a little gap here now because I have some wiring in, in it. Well, there you have that. Lock up so it don't rotate. And the first thing I do is attach my lead wire onto this um, hook. Some wrappings here, three, four, five, maybe. 
six, I think. I've noticed that uh, some flat tires use bead chain eyes for this, but I don't like that. I don't like that jigging movement on this fly because the dragon flies don't jig. And bead eyes on the fly is a rod killer. Well, there's gone many rods that had breaking because of that. Well, I've cut off a little piece of the skin and I place it onto my hook with some secure wrappings like that all the way to the hook eye like this okay well now I'm gonna have some eyes I'm gonna clip up use a plier and just cut off piece pair of this uh, eyes from Snowfall very nice eyes and uh, place it on the hook with some cross wrappings Just it and some cross wrappings. Now I'm gonna wrap down and attach my body and measure it out so I can adjust it well a little longer than the hook and just cut just cut it off like that and attach it to the hook like this this is quite slippery so you can if you want use some super glue here and maybe I should do just that. Use some cheap super glue from China. Does the trick. It's a. It has to be thin so it uh, seeps in. Okay. Now I'm gonna attach my legs. Well, what I've been thinking that I have. Uh, tried to make this onto the hook like that but uh, with the tread but I think it's most more easy to just take out my flex from uh, Solaris like this just place one set of legs here across this and just zap it well that's one set of legs and I'm gonna take a little dab in the middle here like this that was a little too much but uh, I try to just remove some of it there and do the same like that. It's easy if you take. Oh, yeah, that should not happen. It should not wind into my bobbin. But, well, there we have it just place my bobbin a little way from this and I take the last one do the same little dab of UV resin from Solaris and adjust it and just sap it like that 
well for ease of it you can use shorter pieces that's more you can cut some of it off on both sides not quite on the length yet but it's much more easy to dub dub the body afterwards well now you take take your bobbin and take out some dubbing uh, you can use this dubbing I have forgot to tell you about it it's a super fine dubbing like this super fine well wrap it on make some noodles here take it on just attention to my bobbin you see it's much easier to cross wrap this little babies now just take take it all the way until the first one just to have some little too much UV resin on this one I see but I'm gonna go back because I forgot to cross wrap it first before I put on the dubbing well that's not so important well you just place on dubbing on the thread go on place it on and just wrap around the body try not to capture these little rubber legs there can be some difficulty with it because rubber legs is rubber legs they always not be so cooperative as you should wish but um, well you have to work on then you're gonna get the fly done well now I'm getting there soon all the way to the eye and I'm now gonna place my thread on the hook eye front there we have it now I'm gonna make a little whip finish like this and where did I put my scissors there it is okay now I'm gonna cut it a little longer than the thorax there and I'm gonna use a little magic here cut a little V cut into it like that you see I cut a wee cut and I'm now I'm gonna take my UV resin again push it out onto the 
top of the thorax here and place this thin skin over there and there you have it sap this little you can also sap this little put on some more UV glue on the sides here so we don't lose none of you. I've seen now I made this a little too thick but that's okay we don't affect the fishing just try to not smudge it all over and sap this little baby again and uh, try to put this you see these legs don't always work together with me but um, <laughs> well rubber legs is rubber legs uh, it don't it don't matter it don't matter you can try to pull on it and uh, like that now I'm gonna use my to cut this to the right length just try to use your eyeball eyeball it or you can use your measurement this is about well this was a little irritating with this little leg but I'm gonna show you how to do this I'm gonna use my uterus in here and cheat a little and a little tweezer here because my fingers are too big now I'm gonna force it into place well what about that legs are sticking right out well now some coloration well I'm gonna have a little black marker pen where did I put it I'll have it on the I did put this there it is and I use a little uh, pro marker and I'll take well if I am smart I think I'm pretty smart so I take my this one and use some black markings here first on the top now I'm gonna whip it around Check the same so the markings is even all the way around around the fly well because this is 360 degrees around so you have to use your vice then it's just uh, nice to have a rotating vice but it's not necessary you can use a regal or any other type of ice if you have then guys and girls you can if you want reinforce this little baby here this little wire with some UV resin there and sap this little thing
And there we have it. Well, what what to see? Some stragglers here. Cat of Um Use my scissors. Then, and maybe you can cut off this little stump here, just in just a little bit there. Well, now I'm finally finished with this fly. Dragonfly larva, dragonfly nymph, if you may call it. This is a highly effective fly. It will surely catch fish for you. And uh, plastic eyes don't break your rod. I placed the weight inside here so it don't harm anyone. So well that's for all that's was all I had for this evening so uh, I uh, welcome you back to my next video and thank you all for watching this video and bye